so funny. Oh, you have to see my new Jaguar. Yes, it's going to be my get around town car. I just didn't want to put so many miles on my Bentley. No. Oh, you would love it. It's yellow, this sort of canary yellow. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling. I'm going to have to cut our conversation short. My help wants to ask me something. <laughs> I just don't want to keep my maid waiting. OK, darling. I will talk to you soon. Ta-ta. Bye. <laughs> One of your bourgeois socialite friends, huh, Miss Benet? Oh, please, I didn't even know that woman. It was the wrong number. I think she was trying to raise money or something. Consuela, do you think that that's how the Girl Scouts are selling cookies these days? You know, I don't know why that you insist on always calling me the maid. You know that I'm a domestic engineer. <laughs> the engineer of what? Making cocktails? <laughs> don't you have some engineering to do right now? Some work, Consuela? Somewhere? In the kitchen? Yeah, claro que sí. Yeah, siempre, siempre, uh, 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 uh. What have I said? We only speak English here, Consuela. Proper English. Uh, like the proper fake accent that you speak with? Or like those fake eyelashes or the fake fingernails or the fake hair that you wear? I mean, is there anything real about you? Because you don't, you know, I'm just asking. I'm going to overlook that right now, Consuela. How about this? <clears throat> what? Would you like for dinner tonight, Ms. Alexis Benet? <sighs> See, that was nice. That was very, very nice. Now, was that so hard, sweetheart? You know what? You're a trip. I'm not going to apologize for my success, Consuela. Just because you live in this high-rise apartment and make all this money selling houses doesn't mean that you're gooder than nobody else. Better, not gooder. Good or better, whatever. Ugh. And may I remind you, Consuela, I don't sell houses. I own real estate. And I own my own company. And I am the managing partner of this high rise, which I also happen to co own. And need, I remind you, that I also happen to pay your salary. Whoopie doo. Ugh. Consuela, you better be glad I like you. And you better be glad that good help is so hard to find these days. You know, I did like you so much better when you barely spoke any English. <laughs> the only reason that you like me is because I'm the only person that has worked for you this long. Most people leave after six months. I've been here for like five years. You wouldn't know what to do without me. <laughs> you know what I would do without you? I would find a maid that knew her place and one that spoke no English at all so she couldn't talk back. That's what I would do without you. <laughs> Ha! And who would be stupid enough to do that? You did, remember? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Kendall, darling, my love, how are you? Hey, Mom. Hmm. Hey, Consuela. Hi, Kendall. I'm just about to come here in the kitchen and make some hors d'oeuvres for your phony mama. <laughs> Honey, is that any way to greet your mother? And what have I told you about fraternizing with the help? It makes them think that they're sort of on your level. You know, don't do that. Mom, she's like family. And besides, she's the only friend you have anyway. I don't need friends. I'm rich. <laughs> well, I'm not. Kendall, soon you will be. <laughs> okay. I've been talking to your, your coach, honey. Oh, soon you're, you're going to have so many NFL offers. Trust me, they are coming. And then you will have your own money. Do you know why? Because you're good. Because you're good and because you're a Benet. Yes. Kendall, sometimes I look around. I, I, I just can't believe this. I can't believe that I did all of this by myself, for myself, and for my children. <laughs> I've sent you and your brother and your sister to the best colleges and the best universities so you could have everything. Mom, we've heard this growing up all of our lives. You went back to college, yes. you made something of yourself, and you want us to do the same. Yes. But I don't want any of your money. Oh, honey, of course you do. Everybody wants my money. Kendall, honey, that's what I do. I make money for people. And if you 
young man, are going to recite my resume, my biography. Make sure you get it right. Number one salesperson, number one sales real estate person in the city, all of the city, and I opened up my own successful commercial company. <laughs> Should I also include this on your spotless resume? What? That you paid the athletic director to put me in a starting lineup. Honey, that was just an ugly rumor started by unfortunate people that were just jealous of our success. That's all that was. So it's all about money and power for you, huh? Well, frankly, yes, Kendall, that is what it's about. And you, you're a young man, Kendall, that needs to start thinking about how you want the world to view you. Yeah, OK. Well, didn't you get turned away by that French boutique, even with all your money? I mean, didn't they call the police on you, too? The French are just so, they're bourgeois, you know? They're, they're so self-absorbed. Oh, so that's ma that makes us different, huh? What about Quentin, huh? What about your brother? He's a successful lawyer with a fabulous career. What about him? With two divorces under his belt. Mm. Well, how old is he, 28? Mom, what is he trying to do? Break Elizabeth Taylor's record? Kendall, marriage is about convenience. And if it doesn't work, you simply move on. You just make sure that you have a prenup. Wow. So when it comes to family values, that's reassuring, Mom. Oh, fine. What about your sister, Shayla? She is an MBA. She has aspirations of a PhD. What about her? That's because your mommy dearest done made her think that she's a white chick with a cocoa tan. <laughs> Don't you have something to do? I was just coming in here to tell you that the roast is almost ready. Hmm. Is that OK? Yes. <laughs> That's very good. Oh, please, no carbs, Consuela. I have, of course, I've worked very hard on this figure, and I really want to keep it. And please, make sure the meat's not too dark. Shayla, Quentin, they don't like their meat very dark. Mm. I wonder why. <laughs> I know what you're doing with these Sunday dinners. <clears throat> Honey, the only thing that I'm doing with these Sunday dinners is just trying to know what's going on in your lives. Look, it's all about control with you. <sighs> Q is legal counsel of your company. And Shayla, whenever she's there, is supposed to be running your business. So you know what's going on in their lives. And you talk to my coach more than me. So you definitely know what's going on in my life. Like I said, Mom, it's all about control with you. Would you please stop it? That's the least of it. It is not about control. And honey, please, don't call your brother Q. It just, it sounds so ghetto. <laughs> or like he's some radio disc jockey or something. Don't do that. It doesn't bother him what I call him. Well, you know what? It bothers me. Oh. Please do something for me. Don't be so difficult today. Can you do that? And when your brother and sister get here, please don't be so difficult. Would that be so hard for you to do for me? Hmm? Please. Mom, you got them around here thinking that they're all that. Oh, gosh. All of what, Kendo? Tell me. Proud, rich, successful? Yes, proud, rich, Ugh. successful, and nothing else. Well, the only thing that matters in this world is green power. That's the only thing that matters, and having plenty of it. <sighs> Thank God your sister's here. Shayla, darling. Hello, Mother. You look lovely. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Mother dear. Mm. 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 Kendall? So have we signed that NFL contract yet? Hey, Shayla. How you doing? Hmm. And no, not yet. Serious. Oh my god, Mother, you would not believe what just happened to me. So while the valet was parking my Porsche, can you believe this poor-looking black guy had the <gasps> audacity to speak to me? Oh. Honey, what did you do? Well, I clutched my Prada, of course. Mm. <laughs> if you played your cards right and worked your jelly, you could have been your baby's daddy. <laughs> oh, that's so gross, Consuela. You're so the help. Don't you have, like, little maid things to do? Girl, he was probably just trying to say hello. Really, Kendall? Whatever. You know what? You don't give a brother a break, now, do you? If he doesn't have any money, no. That's my Sheila. <laughs> you know, I'm about to lose my appetite. A real live gold digger, like Kanye say. I ain't gonna say she a gold digger, but she ain't uh, messing with no... Excuse me. No. Honey, who, who, who's Kanye? 
Why don't you get a real job and do some work for a change? Work? Ew. That's disgusting. That's what poor people like Consuela does. Okay, so what do you do when you're at mom's office every day? I got that. Because you're never there. Excuse me, you don't see the queen bee in the beehive doing the work, do you? Exactly. Ain't why, that why they call her the bee? <laughs> don't you have something to do in the kitchen? Wait, I don't, I don't get it. What does that mean? Hmm. There ain't nothing wrong with honest work. So what are you gonna do all day today? Shop, duh. <laughs> Shayla, you're no better than anybody with money or without money. I know you don't think you're gooder than me just because I work for your mother. Do you know I only work here so I can give money back to my family? So I think that makes me a good person. Yes, Consuela, you are a good person, and I respect you for that. Huh? Mm. But now, your work is in the kitchen. Huh? Qué mala onda. Oh, no, 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 no Consuela, ah, 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 ah. We only speak English here, proper English. <laughs> Ah, your brother is here. Layla. Quentin, darling. Hello, <laughs> Hello Quentin. Hello, everyone. Mother. Hi. Ah. <laughs> Shayla. Hello. Kendo. What's up, bro? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I want mine. Mm. 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 So, what did I walk into this time? Nothing. Just mother's happy home full of warmth and charm. Oh, speaking of homes, guess what? I have found a perfect place for you to build outside the city. Gated community, golf course, mm -hmm. even has a tennis court. And the prices just start above 20 mil. <gasps> oh, honey, that sounds so charming. Mm -hmm. That's just what I need, a chateau in the countryside. <laughs> so meanwhile, people are losing their homes, and there's thousands of homeless people on the corner begging oh. every day. Oh, come on, man. Why do you always have to start that talk? Well, does it always have to be about money? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's always about money, Mr. Contradicting Football Player who's about to make lots of it. <laughs> for rich people and for poor people, bro. It's always about money. See, you going down to that mission place and feeding those homeless people has got oh. you feeling guilty about success. And you wouldn't even think about going down there now, would you? Oh, you see? You see? Here we go again, Mr. Preacher, man. Honey, our being wealthy is nothing that we have to apologize for. Now, come on. Let's go take a seat, okay, at the table before dinner's served? You know what? I'm not even hungry. You know what? This family is way too vain for me. I don't even know why I was born in this family. Oh, boo-hoo. You know this guilt trip is starting to become a bore, Kendall. Kendall, please, where are you going? We haven't even eaten dinner yet, honey. You know what? I'm gonna go down to the, to the shelter. Get something to eat there. I'm gonna eat with some real people. Some people who have a little appreciation. Oh, that is so gross, Kendall. I can't believe you would rather go down there and eat commodity food at a shelter than eat here. What you doing down here? You sure don't look like you need nobody's hand down. Oh, I come down here to volunteer sometimes, man. Oh, 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 I see, he's one of those types. <laughs> so what's the matter, your pocket's too full? Huh? Did you come down here to help the, the underclass and the disenfranchised folks? <laughs> Look, I'm not one of those types. Is that right? Hey, can I have a seat? Be my guest. But some volunteer you turned out to be. You have been here two minutes and already you looking to take a load off, huh? <laughs> see, you got jokes, man, real mm -hmm. funny. You know what, though? You look familiar. As a matter of fact, I think I've seen your picture in the newspaper before. Oh, so, uh, you read about me in the newspaper, huh? No, I didn't. What I said is that I saw your picture in the newspaper. I didn't read anything. I needed it for warmth. Understand? Oh. Yeah, uh, my bad. So, uh, I mean, you must be new around here, man, because, uh, I don't even think I've ever seen you around here before. Where you from? Well, I'm from here and there. I'm like one of them birds. I migrate. Oh, so you're a traveling man. You could say that. But actually, I'm getting tired of traveling. You know, it's so rough out here. I've been trying to find jobs in other cities. Couldn't do it, so I figured I'd come here and try my luck. Mm. I definitely understand how that is. So what is it that you do? Nothing. 
Nothing. I'm, I mean, I graduate from college in the spring, and I got a few things going on. But hey, I come down here because I love giving back. You Besides, right. it beats hanging out with my family. Well, that's good. So you must be one of them young, educated brothers, huh? You getting ready to get one of them big corporate jobs, corporate big wig. No, man, uh, I'm into sports. That's what I do, I love that. You know, I used to be into sports too when I was a young buck. Blew my knee out, it's a long time ago, though. I don't know, still look like you in pretty good shape, man. I see them pectorials through all them layers of clothes. <laughs> yeah, you got jokes, huh? <laughs> well, that's because I've never smoked, never drank, never was a crackhead or a drug addict. Just caught some bad breaks, but you know what? I'm gonna get it all together one day. Hey, man, that's what you gotta say, man. One day at a time, brother. I always believe in that. Mm-hmm. You know what, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you gotta go, right? Cause you trying to dodge this butt whipping I was setting up for you. Oh, uh, you know what, man? Maybe next time. Hey, but, um, if you see Brother John, can you tell him that Kendall came by? We ain't gonna see Brother John around here no time soon. Why is that? That's because he just ran from the butt whipping I gave him before you got here. He probably somewhere putting ointment on that bruised ego of his. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, hope I see you around. You will, young fella. I'll see you. Looks like you can draw or something. You some kind of artist? Well, excuse me, Miss Picasso. I was just trying to pay you a compliment. I'm just trying to be nice, but I guess you don't need no compliment when it comes from the help. I'm not ignoring you, okay? So don't be so dramatic. I was just trying to be nice. Well, I don't need you to be nice to me. Do you ever see me being nice to you? No, I don't think so. Why do you gotta be like that? Consuelo, you act like you're one of my friends. You're not one of my friends, and you're definitely not one of my sorority sisters. You're just the help. You know? I can take that from Miss Bunny because she pays my salary. But you, you don't even live here. And you're right, I am the help. But I'm a people too. It's person, not people. People person, you know what I mean. And to tell you the truth, I don't even think that your uppity family is all that great. <sighs> even with all their money. Excuse me? I've done seen better people with nothing. But you know, I mean. and since I'm talking, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. You're mean. You have never tried to be nice to me. You are a spoiled Brett, such a waste. Who do you think you are? Hey, who do you think you are talking to me like that? You don't even know anything about me, Consuela. You've never even sat and talked with me about anything. Oh, mother doesn't even know anything about me. I'm so sorry I said that. I mean, I... I... I really believe that you could be a good person, you know, if, if you tried. I mean, why do you always gotta be fake, you know, and pretend like you're so important? You know, you probably wouldn't even believe this if I told you. But I'm so unhappy. Like, most of the time, I just feel empty. I never knew that. I, I mean... I know your mother, she really... It's just stuff, you know? And if you ask me, my mom feels just as empty as I do. She won't admit it, though. But you have everything. But it's just stuff. It's material, superficial stuff, Consuela. It doesn't even mean anything. Do you know, like, I'm not even this person that everyone thinks that I am. Like, I think my mom enjoys watching me be like a spoiled rich brat or something. Like, I'm not even that person. I don't want to be like her. I don't want to be lonely and empty. Do you know that I don't even have any friends? Like, you're the closest thing I have to a friend. It sucks. <laughs> Kind of like a sister I just don't get along with sometimes. I had no idea. I had no idea. 
Quentin. <laughs> Thank God you're here. <laughs> hey, Shayla. Hey. So, where's Mother? Um, I actually don't know. I think she had a meeting earlier with a client or something. Really? Yeah. Why would she be meeting with a client, and especially on a Sunday afternoon? I really don't know. I guess it was important or something. <laughs> well, obviously. She didn't even call me or mention it to me. I only work in the office, Quentin. I really don't know, okay? <sighs> well, I'm sure she'll tell me later on. So, um, where's Kendall, boy? Do these look like secretary hands to you? Like, I take phone calls. I don't know, Quentin. I have no idea where he is. So how was your day today, Mr. Bernay? Oh, it was great. I went to the golf course. I hit a hole in one on a par four. <laughs> hey, um, can you make me a martini? You know exactly how I like it, right? Okay. You know, I'm just curious to know what this meeting was about that Mother had to attend on a Sunday afternoon. Look, I need one of those, too. What's wrong with you? Really? Like, do we even care? Uh, here's your martini, Mr. Bernie. Well, it must be serious. You don't even drink. But can you believe they're trying to shut down the shelter? Like, who cares? Can't they just go find another rundown building somewhere else? That place is home to a lot of those people. Why do you care about where they live as long as they have a shelter, Kendall? Yeah. Look, you don't understand. The shelter just doesn't have money to just get up and move. Wait, we're talking about that place on 2nd Avenue in Hudson, right? Yeah, how do you know? Um, I do read the paper, Kendall. I heard that there's some investors that want to get that entire area rezoned. So they can go in and tear down those buildings and let some rich developers build high-rise condominiums? Kendall, the shelter can relocate across town somewhere. Look, all they have is a lease. Look, they don't even own the building. And they sure as hell can't afford it either. Well, like Mother says, it just doesn't pay to be poor. You know what? Shut up. And it doesn't pay to be ignorant either. Oh, well. Look, why don't you just go somewhere? Look, Kendall, why are you stressing yourself? What can you do about it? Nothing. Why don't you just help them find another place? If it's so important. Q, you're a lawyer, right? Yes. Look, I wouldn't ask you if it wasn't important. Here we go. Look, man, I need your help to keep these people from losing their homes and their shelters. <laughs> you need my what? Q, I wouldn't ask you if I didn't need your help, man. I need you to fight this. There goes the help word again. <sighs> Look, okay, I'll try to help you, all right? But honestly, I don't know what I can do, and bro, I just bought this outfit, please. All right, cool. You know what, Consuela? I don't need it. You know I don't drink. I do. Stop it. I nurse it. Hello, hello, hello. I hope that I haven't kept everybody waiting too long for dinner. A fresh martini. You must have known I was coming. I'm going to give you a kiss. Mwah. The other one, too. Mwah. I'm so <laughs> excited. I just had... The best business meeting of all times. I, 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 Quentin, do you understand how proud you're going to be of me? I met with a gentleman who represents an international investment firm from South Korea. Me, huh, thank you. Well, that's great, Mother, but why wouldn't you ask me to attend this meeting? I'm your legal counsel. I, I, and I, why I you? Why your company? There are other real estate companies that are larger in the city that they can use. Okay, because honey. she has it, you know? She knows how to work her jelly. <laughs> well, I guess I do. <laughs> Whatever that means. And why not me? Why not my company? This is going to be a huge deal, and I want to be a part of every bit of it. Oh, well, that's great. But, um, Mother, you don't even sell property anymore. Well, this isn't about selling property. This is about making a deal. And I have... Tons, tons of connections. This deal, Consuela, could be worth tens of millions of dollars. And there is no way 
No way that I'm not going to be personally involved with every aspect of it. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> My feet hurt. <laughs> well, I trust your instincts, Mother. Uh, I'm sure it will be a success, so. Uh, yes. What's this deal about? Okay. Quentin, just listen to me. Listen to me, darling. I'm going to need you. Do you understand? Me and you. Your undivided attention on every bit of this. Do you understand, honey? Mommy needs you. I need you. Oh, and I've made Thoreen aware of it, too. Okay? Oh, oh, what? Thoreen the assistant? You mean the girl who does Shayla's job? I heard you. You leave your sister alone, young man. Thoreen is my executive assistant. And maybe if you just came by my office a little bit more, you know, you two. He's very cute. <laughs> you should be looking for a lady. She is, bro. I love you guys. I think she had too much caffeine or something. So you're not gonna leave me hanging on this, right, Q? I said I would help you. Look, Q, would you stop staring at people? <laughs> bro, I can't help it. Did you see that woman outside? She was pushing a shopping cart with dirty laundry in it. Dirty laundry. Bro, where's the laundry mat around here? Look, she's homeless. Look, they have things too, man. Are you sure we're gonna be safe in this neighborhood? Because I don't want anybody messing with my bins. Look, we could have took the bus like I suggested. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't do public transportation. Okay, well, good. I hope your insurance is paid up then. <laughs> hey, Kendall, that's not funny. Take that smile off your face. That's not funny. Okay, look, I'm sorry. Look, there's plenty of police around here. Your car will be fine, all right? What is that smell? No wonder you never told Mother about this place. No wonder I told any of you guys about this spot. Well, this is it, man. It's a love you save mission. So I see. And this is where you come down to eat at. No, this is where I serve people who have no place to go. Not everyone can eat at a five-star restaurant. <laughs> hey, brothers, um, have you guys seen uh, John around? John, that's the person we're supposed to see, right? Yeah. Um, Great. Good brother, man, <laughs> the young cat, minister. He actually put this spot together, man, with his money and private donations. You know, Kendall, tell me something, man. You seem so happy. Why are you doing this? I mean, Kendall, we have good lives, amazing lives. We're rich, educated, careers. You're talented. So tell me, bro, why are you doing this? Because all of that is not enough. Speak for yourself. It's enough for me. Just let me have a martini, and I'm happy. Well, just like your two ex-wives, huh? You don't even see your sons. Hey, look. I take care of my sons, OK? I send them child support on time every month. Wow, child support. That's good. They need your time, Q. I think that's a little bit more better than money. Kendall, will you get off of your high horse? Look, our father wasn't around when we were growing up and we turned out all right, okay? Daddy died when we were little, when you were a baby. And mother, yes, mother, she did whatever she had to do to survive to get through that. And I think she did a pretty good job. We turned out just fine. Q, you're not dead. So you can spend time with your kids. I don't know, maybe you're right. Where's John? You know what, man? Mom never, ever talked about pops to us, ever. Look, I remember going to school and kids would say mean things like, you ain't, you ain't got, got no, no daddy. daddy. Yeah, I know. And they didn't even know our daddy was dead. But hey, man, kids can be cruel. And I know you don't want that for your kids, man. Well, well, well. What's up, young brother? I see you brought somebody with you today. I see the rich keep getting richer and just feeling worse and worse, huh? <laughs> no, it's not like that. Hey, where you been? I haven't seen you since the first day I met you. Where you been? Yeah, well, I ain't felt like coming around much lately. Why is that? 
I got some big developers that are getting ready to buy up the whole uh, block. They're shutting the place down. They're going to build some high-rise condominiums. Yeah, I kind of heard about that. Yep. This is why I'm, I brought my brother. He's an attorney. Oh, really? This your brother, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> brother man, well, what you going to do? <laughs> Are you trying to get first dibs on some prime units? Rich guy? No, uh, he's an attorney, so he's going to try to help us out. How you doing, sir? You look like a shyster. I guess anybody can be a shyster these days. You know what, um, I didn't even get your name. Well, I never gave you my name. I never got your name. Oh, my name is Kendall, and this is my brother Q. Well, my name is Billy. Well, what's your last name? What, am I on trial or something? I don't just give out my last name. And besides, Q isn't even a name, it's just a letter. You have to excuse him. But it's Quentin Benet. Quentin Benet. What kind of name is that? You some kind of black Frenchman or something? Benet is as good a name as any. Is he drunk <laughs> on drugs or something? The answer is no. Hey, uh, have you had something to eat this morning? No, man, they closed it down. It's not open like it used to be. Well, have you seen Brother John lately? <sighs> man, he might be down there protesting with the rest of them trying to keep this place open. Well, I guess that settles that. Plus, I have a client to see in a deposition this afternoon. There's no need to stand around here. Hey, hey, uh, Q, just, just, just hold up for a minute, OK? Look, he'll be here. Just, just give me a minute. Let me think this out. Now, look, 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 guys. Uh, look, I'm not, I'm not a lawyer. You know what I mean? But you guys are going to have to know some pretty powerful and influential people. I don't think there's anything you're going to be able to do. You know what? I do know some very influential people. Look, let's call mom and see if she can help us out. Whoa, 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 mom. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Listen. Wait, wait, are you crazy? You must be out your mind. Look, if we bring him over to the house and mom can put a face to what we're trying to do, maybe she can help us out. What you are trying to do, not I, OK? What, what is this, some type of degenerative brain disease you're suffering early from being tackled too much? This is crazy, Kendall. Look, if I bring him over and mom sees him, maybe she'll go on and call some people and help us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do know the people she's going to call. I'm thinking about it. 911, yes. <laughs> look, Kendall, look at me, man. I know you care. I know you care. But you're taking this way too far, bro. What, is he not good enough? Is he not good enough to come to our house? No, he is not. You, I mean, bro, you don't even know his name. I mean, he might be crazy. I mean, what black man you know that's homeless that's named Billy? <laughs> Seriously. And what did he say when you asked him for his last name? All right, look, I'm not crazy, all right? My name is Billy. My name is William, actually. People just call me Billy. And I ain't no criminal. I just got to be careful giving out my last name or any information living on the streets. <sighs> look, he didn't mean it like that, Billy. No, 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 Billy, Billy. I, I didn't mean it like that. That's, that's, that's not the way it sounded. I was talking about something else. S excuse me, one second. Uh, how do I let you talk to me into things like this, huh? It's always something difficult. Look, I trust him. Look, if I didn't trust him, I wouldn't bring him to the apartment. Look, he's a good guy, man. He just needs a second chance. This whole place. Just needs a chance. How do you even know that he's on his second chance, Kendall? All right, fine. If you're taking this that serious, then at least clean him up. Take him to Neiman's or Lord & Taylor or something and get him a suit. And while you're at it, some shoes, a haircut, a manicure, some cologne, and some Listerine, please. <laughs> so what is it? I, I'm just not good enough to meet your mother, to go by your mother's house? I mean, who is she? The black queen of England? <laughs> No, no, look, look, look. Look, I just want my mom to see a real-life homeless person. If she sees that, then she'll go in and make a phone call. <laughs> you know, she is going to make a phone call to get you some help. You know what, Kendall? You guys, fine, fine. You want to bring him to Mother's house? You bring him to Mother's house by yourself. Uh, you're going to learn your lesson. All right. <laughs> you guys have a good one.
Look, don't worry about him, man. Just trust me on this. Come with me, and we see if we can get this place to stay open. Look, I'll pick you up at 7 o'clock, all right? All right, no problem. All right. Seats in first class. Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, Shayla, so nice to see you, darling. You look gorgeous. Thank you. You didn't tell me that you were bringing a guest for dinner. Oh, no, she's not staying. I'm just going to let her brother Jimmy choose. I left okay. here. Have you Come on back? in. Come on in. So nice to see you, Monica. You look adorable. Nice to see you, too, Miss <laughs> Bennett. Oh, give me a kiss. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you. I was just telling my mother the other day that you're always look so wonderful, so put together. Oh, you know what? You've always been so honest and so sincere. I just love you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Bennett. How are Monica. your parents? Uh, they're wonderful. Still yeah? vacationing. Vacationing? Where are they now? South of France. South of France. We have to go to the South of France, darling. As soon as we're done with this deal, we are going to the South of France. Yeah. Let's bring Strasbourg in Monica, too. Or, oh, <laughs> you and Monica. Don't pay attention to him, darling. Oh, Here you go, sweetie. Monica, Thanks. Please. Welcome. Well, enjoy well, the Enjoy the ballet. <laughs> Hi. Bye. Bye bye. So, hello, Bye, Monica. Monica. Lovely. <sighs> Miss Bonet. Yes, darling. Do you need me to set an extra plate for Kendall's guests? Huh. Sure. Why not? Okay. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Maybe not, Consuela. I have a strange feeling that this is going to be a very short meeting, and then we're all going to wash our hands really, 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 really clean. So uh, make sure you have some hand sanitizer on that. Honey, it's perfectly fine if our guest doesn't stay for dinner. It's no need to act like we're too good for people. I need a pen. Ooh, I have one. Maybe it's someone really, really, really rich. It's a <laughs> lot of money. <laughs> Thank uh, you, darling. You have no idea. Oh, well, too bad they won't be interested in you, Consuela. <laughs> I mean, unless they needed a maid. <laughs> Por esta vez, la dejo pasar. I was just kidding. Consuela. What have I told you? English, darling. Only English. Perfect English. I keep forgetting that you were So, mother, what's that you're reading? You haven't lifted your head up on those papers all evening. You would know all about it had you answered my calls today, darling. Ooh. Oh, sorry. But I will tell you this. I happen to find the perfect location for our investment. Really? Yep. Um, that was fast. You, I mean, you just met with them the other day. Sweetie Pie, I am a businesswoman. I do not waste any time. The only problem, I think the area might have to be rezoned. I was telling Thoreen all about it. All right, well, I'll get to work on it tomorrow. So, where's this special location at? Oh, okay. Listen to this. Please listen. Darling, I found the location. Do you hear me? The location. I selected the entire block. The entire block between 2nd and Hudson. 2nd and Hudson. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 no. Wait, wait. Rewind. Um, um, did you just say 2nd and Hudson? Yeah, that's what Avenue. I thought. Avenue. 2nd and Hudson Avenue or 2nd and, and Hudson Boulevard? 2nd and Hudson Avenue. You heard me. The entire block. I've been working on this. Do you understand me? Working and working and working. I told you, I would handle this myself. I let you know, Quentin, Mother, it's that magnificent. Area is gross. Why would you select that area? That, that area is totally disgusting. Yeah, it's like where all the poor people live. No, okay, okay, do, listen to me. Just listen for one second, guys. I understand that people have not lived in this area for some time, but we're talking about the city. Think about this, the city. Everybody wants to be in the central district of the city. But, Mother, what? Why that area of all areas? Funny. Oh my God. Yeah, I just mother, explained. why that area? That area is disgusting. It's so I was yeah. brainstorming. Trust me, trust I'm me. How do you there. think we came up with all of this? All of this that I did by myself. All right. Um, I'm not living down there. I won't. I refuse. I think I'm going to have a drink. Consuela, make me a double martini, please. May matter of fact, a triple. OK. You did not tell me y'all was living like this? And I see this place all the time, so it doesn't faze me. I can't believe you got all this and you come down to the shelter? Man, let me tell you something. If I had all this, I would just stare out the window all day and be like, mm, -mm, -mm look at them poor folks. <laughs> look, you say that now because it's all new to you. No, no, actually, I'm sure. I'm very sure. Now, you did say your mother co-owned this building, right? Yeah, my mom makes pretty good money. Well, who's your mother married to, Donald Trump? Because I'm not single, but I am a vet. <laughs> 
crazy. <laughs> yeah, my mom, she uh, she makes pretty good money, man. She owns a real estate company. They buy property and actually develop it. But money ain't everything, man. You know money's not everything. But I'm going to tell you something. Money is a lot of things. And it sure takes a lot of money to run that shelter down there. Now, you just don't let money change you. But you get your money, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Hello? Hi. Just give me a minute. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to just take this in the other room. OK, of course you are, mother. Hi. No, absolutely. Uh, we're working on it right now. Right now. <laughs> really? So disgusting. Hey, everybody. Hey, you remember Q from earlier today, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 the big time lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, I want you to come on and meet everybody, I, I man. I don't, whatever. <laughs> man, it's nice in here than it was in the lobby. Look, I stay with my mom for right now, but anyway, look, I want you to meet my sister, Shayla. Is he looking for a job or something? Uh, mm -hmm. Shayla, that, that, that's a nice name. Oh, and this is my housekeeper, Miss Consuela. <laughs> Hi. I'm Consuela Bonita Maria Vega Lucinda Washington. Um, but you can just call me Consuela. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a minute I thought she was going to tell me this was your mama. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm doing good. Uh, I would um, ask to take your coat, but um, I, I don't know where to put it. Um, where should I put oh, it? Oh, no, that's okay. I don't, I don't like people to take my coat anyway. That's good. Good idea. <laughs> You know what, come on, let's, let's, let's have a seat. Hey, you know where my mom's at? Oh, she's just finishing up some business on the telephone. I got you right here. <laughs> uh, just, just do that, it's fresh leather. Hey, hey, Billy, you want something to drink, man? Oh, that'd be fine. I'm sure he has a flask in his coat pocket. <laughs> hey, 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 stop being childish. Look, he lives at a shelter. Oh, so what you think, mother's gonna let him spend the night here, Kendall? Yeah, right. You know what? I think I need another drink. But, you know, don't worry about it, Consuela. I'm going to fill this up myself. Thanks. Hey, can you tell my mom that we're here? Here you go. OK, she's coming right out. OK. She's just getting off the phone right now. Yo, man, this is your last chance to make a run for the door, bro. Take him with you. I am so sorry, guys. I am so sorry that I kept you waiting. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Oh, this, thank you. This, 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 wait a minute. Thank this you. can't be happening. Mm -hmm. This can't be happening. Why? Mm -hmm. Why is this man in my home? Oh, Mom, I, I, I wanted to introduce you. He's from the shelter. <laughs> Alicia? Okay, you? Kendall, your friend needs to leave right now because he is clearly upsetting Mother. I don't know this man. Alicia, after all these hell. years. No, why? Why is he here? Tell me, tell me, why is this man here? Look, Mom, I, I brought him here because we need your help. The Look, shelter, trying to... what shelter do you keep talking about? What shelter? Look, they're trying to shut down the shelter. Mm -hmm. If they do, man, there's gonna be a lot of people homeless. Maybe you should introduce the man first. Oh, uh, look, Mom, I'm sorry, but this is, uh... William Daniels. Alicia, after all these years? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, you do not know my mother. Sure Alicia no. Bennett, <laughs> here in the flesh. Uh, no, not quite. That's, my mom's name is Alexis Bennett. <laughs> February 14th, May 22nd, December 1st. February 14th, May 22nd, December 1st. Hold up, those, those are our birthdays. Quentin's February 14th, Shayla's May 22nd, I'm December 1st. How did you know that? I never gave you my birthday when we was... Ex-CIA or something? Quentin, shut up. Kendall, your friend needs to leave. I'm gonna call building security if you don't make him leave. Look, he'll leave when I take him back to the shelter. Alicia, are you gonna tell him? Or do you want me to? No, you should go, you have to go. Do you understand me? You have to leave. You leave. Leave right now. You leave. I'm going to tell them I leave. H hold on, but wait. But before what? I leave, they're going to know. No. Wait, wait, wait. Enough no. of this back and forth. What are we going to know? What are you talking about, no, sir? What? No. Are you going to no. tell these kids or am I going to tell them? No. Tell us what? Mother, what is going on? 
I'm so confused. <laughs> please. Please don't do this. Please. I think. Please. You need to go, sir. You need to go. Make him feel Are you going to tell them? Are you going to tell them? Because so help me God, I am. I think. I, I think that. I think that maybe. I think that maybe. <laughs> Kendall, this is you. Sir, this you is need you. To go. Maybe. You need to leave. It's possible that he might be. This man's your father. <laughs> you have to be kidding. Okay, mom. No, this man is a homeless man. Mother, that can't be possible. You said our father was dead. We found him on the street. Oh, Miss Bonnet. Miss Bonnet, I thought you were classier than this. This man here is your baby's daddy? Ay, que novela. Ay, this is crazy. Tan loco. Are we being for real here? It's, this, this is really going on. Ay, que novela. This, this is crazy. Tan loco. Ay. Consuela, um, I think that we won't be needing your services for the rest of the night, and uh, you can take the rest of the night off. I'm sure you don't mind. Oh, I don't mind staying. I mean, you don't even have to pay me extra to stay to watch this, okay? Consuela, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you, please. It's a family matter, and we need to handle it. Okay. Listen, I have my cell phone on all night, so if you need me, you call me, any of you guys, so, except you, okay? Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Bye. Good night. Let me get this straight. You had us believing all this time when we were growing up that our father was dead? You know, I don't even think I even want to hear any more of this. I'm starting to feel sick. And I don't even think it's coming from this alcohol drink. You told them I was dead? I am. I might have felt like I died, but I don't remember dying. You may as well have been dead. You were dead to me. Oh, this is not easy to talk about. You know what? Look, we need to hear it right here, right now. Look, we got all the time in the world. Yeah, because I want to hear just how and when I died. Yeah, me too. I didn't tell them that you died. Mother did. That woman. Mother. I just, I guess I just didn't tell them that you were alive. So they believed what she said. No, you let them believe it. Too proud, right? To let them know I didn't live up to your mother's expectations? Same old Alicia. Miss Pride. I don't need a man for nothing. Just like your mother. Why shouldn't I be proud? You tell me. You stand there and you look around and you tell me why you shouldn't be proud. Tell me. You look, look. Look at what I've done. And look at what I've accomplished. Look at what I've acquired, and I, I did it without you. Do you hear me? I did it without you. I gave them everything, everything. They've gone to colleges, and look at them. Did she was right. I, I didn't need, I didn't need you. Did it ever occur to you that they needed their father? Huh? Did it ever occur to you that they needed their father? These are my children. These are my seeds. Oh, don't you do it. Don't you sit there and blame this all on me. This was your fault, not mine. My fault? My f How's it my fault you told these kids I was dead? Look, Mom, you, you should have told us. You could have told us that our father was alive. He left, he left me. 
He, you did. You left me. You left me. Alicia, don't you twist this. Me. Look, everybody just calm down, OK? I mean, what sufficient evidence is there anyway to prove conclusively that he's even our father? Look, dude, this is not no courtroom. Chew, we ain't doing no DNA tests. Can't you see this man is our father? This is just too much for me. We were young, honey. We were, we were so young. And then we had a baby on the way. I was supposed to go to college, but your father had other plans for me. We were young. We were young, Alicia. But we didn't need nothing but each other's love, our love. Love? What does love have to do with anything? Love doesn't pay the bills. No. It doesn't. And there I was, pregnant with Quentin. <laughs> My mom hated me for it. But she hated him even more for what he'd done to me. For what we did, Alicia. What we did. We had these three babies together, all three of them. Yes. You're right. We did have these three babies together, but you know what? I fed them. Me. I clothed them. Me. I took care of them. I, I educated them. I gave them everything without you. Me. And now you have the audacity to come in here and just ruin everything. You're ruining everything. God, William, why did you come here? Why did you come here? Don't you get it? We were supposed to be a family. These are my children. We were so young. Right at high school. What did we have? High school diplomas? I mean, what were we supposed to do? How were we going to take care of them? Were we just going to keep on flipping burg burgers? No, Alicia, but with God on our side in time, I know that we would have made it. We would have made it. Well, you know what? All of that's in the past now. It is. Do you hear me? It's all in the past. You're in the past. So let it go. Do you understand? Let it go. It's time for you to get out of my house. Listen to me. Get out of my house. Get out. You, get out of my house. I want you out. I want you out of my house. You know what? I can't even believe this. I can't believe this. Man, something, something pulled at me, man. No. Look, something told me to go to that place, that shelter. And out of seven billion people in the world, I find my father, who I thought was dead, living at a shelter. No. Oh. Kendall, honey. Look, don't kindle me! Look, you lied to me, and you lied to us. Kendra, that's your mother. Me show some respect. How you gonna tell me to show some respect? Huh? You left her, right? You left me, and you left us. Kendall, I'm sorry. Sorry? 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 Look, sorry is sorry. You're an sorry excuse for a man. No wonder your life is messed up. Because you didn't do right by us. And you didn't do right by me. I can't believe you said son. You left that title a long time ago. So you have no right to call me your son. You weren't even there for my first, my first football game. When I scored my first touchdown. <laughs> when I got my first trophy. So how you gonna call me? How are you going to call me your son? I got 
got to get out of here, man. You guys disgust me. Man, won't you go back to where you came from? Kendall? Kendall, wait, man. Man, shut up! You want to talk about fear? You took everything from me! Everything. I am living in a homeless shelter. I don't live at 2nd Street. I live on 2nd Street. And you want to talk about fear? You live at a homeless shelter? Yes, I did, but there's some big real estate developer. Wait a minute. On 2nd Street? Mother, that, isn't that the same no, property honey, that... No, no, honey, am I speaking for you? No, Mother, you and Quentin were here talking about it earlier. That is the same exact property that you and your investors are trying to buy. My God. My God, so, so you're the developer. I might have something to do with it, who's to say? Kendall told me that his, uh, his mom was in real estate. Yep, 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 now I see. Now I see how you made all your money, putting poor folks out on the street. What I do, and how I do it, is none of your business. And I will not let you stand there and blame me for where it is you live. No, no, you're absolutely right. You see, what you do is your business. It's just not my kind of business. I busted my butt, William. I did to give them everything they could possibly want or need. Did it ever occur to you they might need their father? Did it? Look, I'm not making any excuses, all right? I was young. We were young. I didn't know what it was to be a father. But that gave you no right to take my children. No, you don't have the right to say that because you left our mother. You left I us. Swear, I swear I never left your mother. That's right. You did leave. You did leave. Yeah, for an hour. I took a walk in the park because I did not want to fight in front of kids. Now, you know how you used to get. <laughs> how I used to get, how I used to get. So wait a minute, you guys, it, you, everybody argues. So what you guys argued? What, 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 was it so bad that you guys couldn't just work it out? Over what? A picture, a silly picture, a photograph of somebody I knew in high school. Is that true, mother? You guys over, argued over a picture? And it grew from there. Yes, and that it did. And then you kept accusing me and accusing me of not trusting you. You didn't trust me. You never trusted me. And then you started telling me you didn't want me no more. You know, you said some ugly and cruel things. So the only thing I could do was leave. See? You left. But I came back. I always came back. Then one day I left for work and came home to nothing. Everything was gone. The only thing you left was the wedding ring, like it was absolutely nothing. Did you even try to look for us? I looked everywhere. I looked all over the country. I kept all the letters that I sent. I sent them to the old address and to mother's address, and all I ever got was return to sender. But why didn't you at least try looking for us in the phone book? I didn't know nothing about a, a, a Alexis Benet. I know Alicia Bennett. Alicia. Alicia Daniels, after we were married. Man, just look at us. Just a bunch of empty souls. Money, success, nothing. Nothing but just lies, all lies. Oh. That's way too deep, bro. Plus, I think I've had way too many drinks. I know I'm a lawyer, but I'm not that deep. What about Shayla, man? <laughs> what you mean? I mean, we left her up there by herself. <laughs> Tell you the truth, so much going on, I forgot we left her up there by herself like that. You know what he said? That he never left her. So why would he lie about that? I mean, he has nothing to gain. 
and mom's been controlling our lives ever since we were little. So maybe she just ran them off. Maybe, Kendall, who knows? You know, truthfully, I never imagined our father to be like that. Not like that. I had ideas of a black Clark Kent superhero of some sort. But that man's strong. He's been through hell and back. Yeah. You know what? Maybe mom will just be honest and tell us the whole story. Maybe. Look, come on. Let's, um, let's go back upstairs and check on him. Plus, mother put him out before. I'm sure she won't hesitate to do it again. And besides, I think we left Shayla up there long enough by herself. You feeling all right? Yeah. Guess. Just try to imagine your whole world being snatched away from you just like that. I don't regret what I did. So, Mother, you left? No, honey. You left and changed your name? No, honey. You did. You changed no. your name so that he couldn't find us on purpose? No. Honey, don't, no. don't touch Honey, me. none of this matters. No, it does matter. You did do it. You did do it, didn't you? You did. You did. It doesn't. None of this matters. Why would you do that to us? Why would you do that to this man and put him through this? Sheila, honey, I had to. I did have to. What is wrong with you? No. You are so messed up. You are so beyond messed up. No, sweetie, look at you. You're perfect. You understand? He didn't give you that. I gave you that. You didn't give him the choice. You understand? I did. You took that choice from Shayla. him. You took that choice from Shayla. us. Shayla. Don't touch me. Shayla, Get don't go me. anywhere. Get Shayla, off with me. Don't. Shayla, <laughs> honey. Shayla, it's me. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Shayla, come on. <laughs> Shayla, let's just talk don't. about it. Don't. Come near me. Don't you talk to me. <sighs> Kendall, I think it's time for me to go. Hey, Billy. We're not going to leave you here. We want you to come with us. You sure? Like a soldier, no 
Oh, it's amazing to me how your life can truly change when you've got a woman and she believes in you. What you have given me is a reason to go on. You brought out the man in me, the man I never. my mother she just hated the idea hated the idea and she she hated him even more why well you know I was well, I was young you know and I had all these possibilities I had been accepted to all these you know offers from all of these colleges and universities and she just she just never thought that he was gonna amount to anything yeah but look at you I mean you're you're rich you're successful you're smart and and you, you could have done that with a husband. I mean, you even did it with three kids. Yeah, but you know, the more she meddled, you know, she meddled and meddled and meddled and, you know, she was just in my ear constantly and things just got worse and worse. And, you know, then I, I started seeing her things her way, you know, and, and it was like the seeds had been planted. And then once the seeds were planted, it was just, whew, it was just sort of downhill from there. Mm. I don't know why families don't stick together through thick and thin. Oh. I think the families do stick together, Consuela, you know? Mama and babies, you know, who needs a daddy? That's what I used to hear, yeah. Yeah, but every baby needs a mommy and a puppy. Even if the only kind of work you can find is throwing newspapers, huh? And flipping burgers and cleaning up offices. That was the kind of work that William used to do. Well, I don't understand that, Miss Bonet. Okay, because work is work. There are worse things, no? And tell that to my mom. God rest your soul. I didn't know you believed in God. You don't go to church, and I ain't never seen no Bible or nothing. No, Consuelo, I'm just not sure what I believe in anymore. Oh, you know what? Come here. Well, I do believe, and it makes my life fuller. You know, what am I to say anyway? You know, because I'm just the help. You're not just the help, and you know that. You're my friend. Right now, you're probably the only friend I have. Probably. <laughs> so what are you going to do now, Miss Benet? What do you mean? Your life has changed. You have to see how to mend the scenes from the past. Yeah, the past. And that's probably with Kendall. I mean, he was always searching for something in the past. I mean, Shayla and Quentin, they were, they were fine. They were fine because they had me and they, they clung tight to me. But 
Kendall, I don't know. He's a little bit different. Kendall is, he's very different. But like in a good way, yeah. you know? He's got a really good heart. A really good heart. And you want to know what? Mm. He's just like his father. It's true. He has a good heart. That's why I married him. I mean, he just, he was never into the stuff, any stuff. Just like Kendall. <laughs> he was just sort of sweet and innocent. And he was a man with a really good heart. Well, that's who Kindle's always gonna be. No, I'm sorry. Kendall! Hi, honey. Kendall, aren't you gonna say anything? Kendall, I waited up for you all night and I was worried about you, honey. Kendall, don't you hear me talking to you? Ooh. Kendall? Miss Doreen. Oh, Doreen. Hi. Hi. I've been calling you all morning. Come on in. Y you, you've missed appointments and... Are you okay? Yes, I know. Thank you for coming. I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. You, are you sure? Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. Oh. Kendall? Oh. Boy, you almost just knocked me down. Look, I'm sorry, Miss Consuelo, okay? Yeah, you better be. There's always a lawyer looking for some case, you know? Jeez. Kendall, if you're going to be mad at anyone, be mad at me. Yeah, be mad at her. Don't be taking it on me. Look, I said I was sorry, all right? How you doing, Miss Doreen? I'm good. But you, I have nothing to say. Kendall! Honey, come on, just please. Let me just explain. Look, you don't have to explain anything to me. Look, I'm a grown man. And you can't control me, Q, or Shayla anymore. So just let it go. Kendall, I'm your mother. Do you hear me? I've given you everything. Me, honey. You know, I mean, beautiful places to live and... Honey, haven't I given you the best Look, clothes? Mom. Haven't I? Haven't I given you Mom, the best listen. education? No, you listen. Haven't I give you, given you the best opportunities for everything? Everything. I did everything to make my children happy. Everything. Mom, how can you say that? You kept us from knowing that we had a father that lived on this earth who was broken hearted because he didn't know where his family was. So yeah, you gave us everything. Yeah, you did. But guess what? You gave us everything in the world that we can possibly have. But you didn't give us the most important thing that we needed in our life, and that was our father. Kendall, I'm sorry, honey. Please believe me, I'm sorry. What I did was wrong. Listen to me, it was wrong. It was so wrong, but back then, back then, Kendall, I really believed in my heart that I was doing the right thing. I did. <laughs> so you know what? Then won't you make it right? What? Won't you give that man what you took from him? Make that man whole. Make that man whole, our father whole. I don't know how to do that, Kendall. I'm not sure I know how. Well, you can. You're a smart lady, so just figure it out. I don't know what's going on, but I want to encourage you, Miss Benet, that life can be in your situation. The God that I serve, he can bring it alive. Do you believe it? You got to believe it. Bread of life, Savior, Redeemer. You are Wonderful counselor, holy one. That's what he is. He can counsel you. You are. He's good. Jehovah Jireh Elohim. High priest and heir of all living things. He's good. He's a provider. You got to believe it. You are. He's great. But you got to send a high praise. Hallelujah. 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 
I dare you to lift your hands. Lord, we worship you not just for what you've done, but Lord, we worship you just for who you are. If you acknowledge who God is, he'll step in your situation. You got to worship him and praise him even for life, even for strength, for love. You still got it. You got it. He's good. You're good, Jesus. Lord, we worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've done. Oh, he's good, and I glorify you. He's been good to me. Lord, we worship you. you get with me or not. So I need you to come on and celebrate. He's good. You, you are God. He's good. The living God. He still lives. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? You got to act like you believe it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's good. Now I want you to say this. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Jesus lives. Are you glad about it? Yes, you live. Hallelujah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. I'm going to church. You are. You are. You're good. You're faithful. You're loyal. You are good. Hey, yeah. Because he lives, you live. I'm getting excited. Oh, yeah, yeah. You are God. You're good. He lives. You're God. He's good. Do you believe? I believe. Do you believe? Consuela, do you believe? I believe. You better believe. God's going to work it. Hi. Yes. No. Yes, yes. You will receive the papers tomorrow, 12 noon. By then, we will be in escrow. Do you understand? It's, it's going to be a huge deal. You've got to trust me. You've got to trust me. I know what I'm doing, OK? It's huge. I'm very excited. OK, the lawyer's going to review everything. The papers will be signed tomorrow at noon. Thank you. OK. Good night. Bye. <sighs> Hello, Mother. Um, that wouldn't be something I need to do this evening, because tomorrow I was planning on helping Pops out with some legal problems. Don't I at least get a hello from everyone? Especially you, Consuela. You happen to look divine. Thank you. <laughs> I do look good, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mother, where have you been? We are starving, and we have been waiting forever. I'm sorry, honey. I just had some business that I had to take care of. I'm sure you're all. Very hungry. Oh, I, I didn't know that you wanted me to cook something because we spent the whole day in that kitchen, you know, serving all the people. I'm it's okay. okay. You know what, Mom? Is that what you called us over here for? So we can act like one big happy family? No, that's not what I called you here for. I just, I wanted you all here, you know, at home, this home. I just, I just wanted to make things right. Mother, I don't think you can fix things after 20-some-odd years. Don't you think the damage has already been done? Listen, son, I'm not damaged goods, all right? Nor do I want you to be. So don't make your mom out to be the villain. We just, let's just try to get past what has happened. Thank you, William. I just, 
I just want my kids back. I want my family back. I love you very much, and I'm, I'm so sorry for everything that I did. I just, I just need another chance, that's all. How are you going to make this up? How are you going to make this up to our father? Kendall, look, all right? We're still living. We're living. Time can heal a lot of things, and if it can't, then what's the sense in us believing in anything? Please forgive me, William. I've changed. I have. I've, I've changed. I've changed, William. Oh. That's right there. Okay. Here, take it. Mom, you just can't throw money away. I mean, you can't use money to solve your problems or pay off our father. He's in our lives now. Look, I think... <laughs> I think what your mom is trying to say is a lot more valuable than money or even me, all right? What is this check for it in? Huh? Kendall, just take it. Don't you know not to look a gift horse in the mouth? Besides, she could change her mind any minute. <laughs> I met with an investor today, Kendall. We wrote an offer on the property. The shelter is no longer yours. So it's done? So the... So the shelter's not gonna be closed then? No, baby. I convinced them, well, sort of told them it would be bad social policy, have a negative impact on valuable lives. Mother, are you serious? You really bought the building? So those people don't have to move? <laughs> Not as long as I have something to do with it. <laughs> I mean... I mean, that's good for right now, but what about further down the line? But whoever wants to fight is gonna have to fight me. And they won't want that. So Kendall, honey, that's what the check is for. Official ownership of the shelter. You know, I mean, who needs another chateau, all that stuff? <laughs> Don't need that. Listen, girl, I think your mom is really serious. Besides, you never know. The love you save might be your own. So, is this all for real? Are you sure you're gonna leave it alone? No high-rise condos? No high-rise condos. It won't change anything. It'll stay exactly the same. Now, wait, there's maybe just a few little improvements. That should be okay, right? <laughs> so, Mom, what made you decide to do this? Kendall, honey, don't ask why. Sometimes, sometimes things just happen for a reason. You know, just, just rejoice in it and let it be. I mean, everything is wonderful, Mom. And I mean, I'm happy that all these people got a place to call their home, and clearly we would never let you go back there. I guess what I'm saying is that I just don't think that it's right for us to have and for you to be without. Come on, that's, that's sweet, baby girl, but don't assume anything. I have more than you could ever imagine. I got my faith back, and I got my kids back after all these years. This is so beautiful, Miss Benny. This makes me feel so good. There's just one thing left for me to do. Um, come on. William, you're the father of my children. And aside from them, you're probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. Do you think that maybe um, if time heals all things and God can make people whole again, do you think that, well, with time, just maybe, just with some time, he can heal what we once had? What we once had. What we once had was a real family. 
a real family. Alicia, I, I just don't know. I mean, I just don't know. Daddy, say yes. Yeah. Maybe in time, I can become the kind of woman that you'd be proud to call your wife. I think uh, Alicia Daniels doesn't sound so bad after all. So who did you call? I just called my son's mother. I'm gonna pick my sons up this weekend and spend some QT quality time with them. <laughs> Besides, I think it's about time that they meet their grandfather. That's wonderful, Quentin. Really is. Kendall, this was never really about the shelter. This was about making lives whole again. Theirs and ours. And I believe that we can begin to make things right, starting with one family at a time. <laughs> you know, I've been a lot of places in my life. I've seen a lot of horrible things. But there was one thing that I held on to very, very, very dear to me, and I think I have something that belongs to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you believe you, it? You kept that. You kept the ring. This is the ring that he yes. gave me when we were first this, married. He kept the ring. My <laughs> little mom said it was. <laughs> my mom hated this ring. I love this ring. Oh, I love you. Oh, my God. I do love you. I love you. I gotta see this ring. It's the one that you threw I told you about this yes, ring. Do you remember? I caught a lot over there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mama. You never know the love you save may be your own. Good. Cool. 